That's terrible. <laughs> okay, I think Esther should have played for us. Father, I thank you for this time that we can gather together and learn about you. Lord, I pray that you would speak through Emmanuel today mm. and that we would truly seek to have your understanding, Lord. Mm. I thank you that Kim is with us here today. Mm. I pray that you would give her peace and be with her as well. Lord, I thank you for each heart that is willing to learn. I pray that our hearts would be open to learn about you, Lord. Mm. Praise him in your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. This is a, in your book, the 912 is the. Eddie, you can share that with uh, our sister a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah. Over her I'm good. Okay. I have the other copy of the book. Is that okay. the same? Uh, it's not. it's it's not the same, but you can that can help also just at least know some things. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Okay. Yeah. Again we follow this formula maybe a little bit um read in Chinese and let Noah read the translation here in this version. Then after that um I'm gonna read the commentary so I can stop and discuss a little bit. Also com compared to this this Chinese book, and then with that, then you know, then have you guys discuss about the commentaries? Now you understand. You can you know we're gonna have a obviously class bigger, so we're gonna have a two person most likely two or three. Okay, so yeah, I take turns. Okay, um, there's no. Any I have a thoughts, feel free to share however, you know, just raise up your hand or share. So yeah. And uh, most likely the topic will be covered by others will think about the same thing. We, you know, so yeah. Alright. Um I do want you diligently engage, don't feel afraid to engage, you know, that's a delightful part of this part of the conversation from here on is discussion. It's really discussion, you know, so the first part of we do introductions one way straight in a sense, you know, so introduction is giving some but now we can um uh, help to enhance the understanding by have a dialogue. Okay, so I wanna hear your your input, you know, so take your time. So the learning of such nature is not just knowing things, go through a book, really saturate the thing that it is meant to be applied to life. And we take away that. Is that make sense? Yes. Okay. So nine twelve in Chinese here goes. 子即病, 子路, 使埋人为臣, 病间的月就一在, 有之行在也, 无成而为有成, 无随切, 其天乎, 借于, 与其死于臣之手,不宁死于二三之之手乎。这与众不得大葬,与死于道路乎。啊,go ahead, no one, mm-hmm. The master was gravely brutal, and Zulu instructed his fellow disciples to attend Confucius as if the disciples were his ministers. That is following the rites proper to a minister attending to a lord, which, of course, Confucius was not. During a remission of his illness, the master became aware of what was happening and rebuked Zhu, saying, It has been quite some time now, has it not, that you have been carrying out this charade? If I have no ministers, and yet you act as if I have, who do you think I am going to fool? Am I going to fool heaven? Moreover, would I not rather die in the arms of a few of my disciples than in the arms of ministers? Even if I do not merit a grand funeral, it is not as if I would be left to die by the side of the road. Mm. So commonly here is saying, Zulun, uh, let me give you some uh, no notice here. Zulu is one of the major disciples of Confucius. Who care about his master 
Burwell. He was a, a general. All of a sudden, someone social standing. They actually becomes a major general from the small kingdom in those days. So then, uh, in those days, obviously, you need to keep a certain stature in life. By keep a stature, you have people like your servants or some take your household. We know that in ancient days, they do that all the time. Am I? Uh, aristocrats or rich men often have one ministers to do that. Yeah, there's a book called Aristotle. Aristotle actually wrote a book called Economic. Economic is about the affairs in a homestead. How to take care of your family homestead. You know, so how to tell others to to govern your homestead in a different way. In a sense, also this word trans minister ministers is a little bit <laughs> other context for modern day. It's came from. Uh, before governmental, before ministry, today's context actually came from a, a homestead. Someone have a real estate, a estate, have a lot of people they had to take care of those what they owned. You know, so that's the context. Zulu tried to set the people in motion in the sense to see his master is the important person in life, you know, so in society. Zulu means to honor his master, the commentary here, and Pampers incidentally raised his standards by having him attended as if he was a feudal lord. But this represents a serious abuse of a ritual. As a Li Ong explained, Confucius' concern over the ritual violation of the Ji family. Ji, there are three major feudal lords in the nation called the Lu, where Confucius used to be actually a primer, mean the primer. So they have their own setup, you know. So think about the Roman world, all the monarchy is old. Um, the Wallace and Xi Xi family, in former discussion, we said they continue to try to pretend to be a king. So we we'll use rituals that not just belong to um, a feudal lord, even rich and powerful in the land. Who, this is Xi family, who has, as we have seen, were usurping the ritual prerogatives of the Zhou kings in attempt to impress their contemporaries and uh, carry favor with heaven. Those means to have worship sent in, they actually worship the heaven. If you attend onto certain worship ritual, have a standards or certain different way to do it, you can use a king's measure, you know, so that's Li is a identify who is suitable to worship in a certain way. Much like in Asian they dress differently, you know, so women and men dress differently, child and adult dress differently. You have a different hairstyle, you know, so that's identified in Chinese culture, also actually in, in the Jewish culture, especially when the preschool is all dressed differently, you know, so yeah. the young one dressed differently than high dress, obviously, so does that make sense to you? You know, so the garment differently. Now, no doubt, back to the commentary, no doubt the constable summed the harshness his rebuke, which is then softened somewhat by his uh, final remarks. So he, it was very lovingly he said, I don't need those things. I really just wanted to be taken care of by you guys as my dear disciples, you know, rather than somebody important in society. Very interesting. You know, he rebuked Zulu, this uh, student, he appreciated his intention, but he don't endorse his ways, you know. So in the rebuke, actually, is endearment, right? So, um, you just bury me like your father would do, you know, your good teacher. That's fine for me. As long as I don't die on the roof side, <laughs> so, yeah, burying on the roof side. As the Brooks and Brooks notes, this is a commentary, commentary. All of those disciples are ashamed of the master lack of all these humble circumstances. Confucius himself insists on his low stack. He is not ashamed of um, 
being seen as nobody in the world, the minds um, with devoted disciple and now the solemn like larky like, what lanky? What that means? I have no idea that word means. At his gate, even the monastery there can hardly miss the note of intense reproving affection. That's a borrowed commentary. Now with that, uh, let's uh, hear you guys' comments. Mm -hmm. I want to highlight this back to the conversation here. Said, if I had no ministers, yeah, you ask if I had. What do you think I'm going to fall? Who do you think I'm going to fall? I'm sorry. Am I going to fall heaven? <laughs> then he said, Moreover, would I not rather die in the arms of few my disciples than in the arms of the ministers? Very interesting. You know, he's going to die. You know, so. Uh, so revealed is true affection, true heart, and my son, what you really care about. So, so with that, please offer your comments freely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need you you need to play the dance the music for you guys to dance a little bit, cheer you up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Isaac always has something good to say. So come on. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually still trying to kind of grasp the overall essence of this thing. So mm. I'll let somebody else go while I'm still thinking. So do you have questions on your dance score? Can I help everyone understand what we're talking about here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still just, I'm still trying to work things out on like what to actually take away from it. Uh, mm. Okay. Well, how about in the, in the context? What, what, I, what I was thinking about it was in the context of, you know, family, or, or thinking about his his um, his followers, mm -hmm. and then thinking about some ministers that did he just? Do you think that he just hired the people to come in and? Zulu hired. He yeah, hired he pays a salary. Yeah, and yeah. And just come in and help him and take yeah, care of him. Yeah, help him take things. <laughs> Basically, they are prepared for him the funeral. Actually, mm. he's almost ready to die. This sort of grievous, you know, so they don't think he can recover. So, so like you said, it, mm. he's like, um, I'd rather die in the arms of one of my a few of my disciples uh -huh. rather than these ministers. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of shows to me like a, a position of uh, family or of. Um, endearment like you said yes, to, to, yes. Uh, to his yeah. disciples yeah mm -hmm. rather than wanting mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. somebody to take care of him all the time yeah and well Confucius is teaching and in tradition those days they pay a lot of attention to funerals hmm. that's a way to honor the 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 disease basically so Confucius actually talk about those things for example a disciple which a disciple did after the passing uh, uh, he told them, Momo Kwaku said, parents die for which you are all ministry or duty, actually to stay before the tomb, before the grave, whatever, you know, so, so three years, three something years. that's, yeah, so huh. that's the Chinese tradition, so honorable, so that's confined as trans on tradition, you know, so lay down tradition, even the Qing Dynasty said about the 300 years ago, and, um, less than 200 years ago actually so that's still a tradition the official when parents died unless the emperor said you can not do that you have to go home drop everything you you assigned to officially mm. and go back home to stay with your home many take care family affairs take care of things mm. Now, imagine, it's not today, it's everybody passing everything, well, taking care of, you have a wheel, everything, you know, so those days don't. Basically, you try to inherit everything and take care of the responsibility formerly um, held by your parents. Also, to learn the parents' relationship and a lot of responsibilities, you know, so, yeah. So, but moreover, it's a fashion. It's con they want to respect, to build so deeply into uh, their life. Anybody don't do it. Wow. 
they're going to be really scored and all. And they're really going to push his eyes up, you know, so, you know. Sometimes become a hypocritic, hypocritic, you know, thing. Mm. The point the Confucian side is a, a ritual for truly show a fashion and honor and build on the Asian way. It's a community imagine Asian times as before 200 BC, 300 BC. People's life is very difficult, you know, then by now, 300 years ago or 200 years ago, it's different than thousand years ago, right? So, mm. 2000 over the years ago. So life more difficult in those days, especially when we have a unified nation, whatever going on. It doesn't really matter nation-wise. It's life more difficult. They have deep, more steep social fabric than later days. So many Confucian teachings are, are, are being distorted and ritual, ritualistically applied, mm. then just like as why you read the Bible, oftentimes we find the similarity is people apply the Bible to the letter, not to the heart. Mm. So yeah, the same thing stand in Chinese, or wordedly true. I mean, you go to the Orthodox Jews, talking about the same thing happening. You know, you see, they always talk about the Torah. Torah. That's this morning I was listening to their prince talk about. You know, he he was in Jerusalem, hung around with Jews. You know, so he knows the Jews very well. So their tradition. He said they really were allowed this book to a great extent with the passion, but they don't know God. They don't learn of God himself. So, yeah, they learn God's good, good words, but they don't really learn the living God. So that's Jesus' contrast with the, the scholar of the day as well, saying, you know, yeah, you know a lot about the scriptures, you think through the scripture, you will have eternal life. But I come to try to fulfill the law, fulfill the scripture for you, but you now willing to listen to me. So, yeah, go ahead. So, so. Kind of, kind of in a similar fashion, Zulu mm-hmm. is right there at his at the time of his master's almost dying, and he's still missing the point of what his master really is yes, trying to that's get right, through that's right. all yeah, these yeah. years. It's like, and he I want was, relationship with yeah, him. my yeah. He was life. older. Yeah, he's older than others, and he was influential in society. He take on his own responsibility. You know, I'm going to make my master like a lord, mm. and uh, because the master used to be a lord, oh, it was a primer. You know, so yeah. Okay. So, but uh, that's where his early days. You know, so maybe in the fifties. You know, Confucius died eighty four. So wow. I mean, this time I don't know, but uh, that's old for that. Yeah. So that we don't period. know. So yeah, yeah. Mm. So. I don't know exactly, but Zulu take on his responsibility. I'm gonna take care of him. Zulu was not young this time, obviously. So yeah, either this book it was not chronically compiled. It was a uh, more topical compiled. Okay, so theme thematic compound. Maybe Noah has some comments to go. Lay some. Uh, or feel free, especially in the beginning sessions, so lay some template for like, how to have meaningful discussion, so yeah, go ahead. I'm reminded of another <coughs> instance um, where a similar problem uh, surfaced when, I think it was when Yang Hui passed away. Yang Hui passed away, oh and yeah. Confucius was actually having to uh, speak to his parents, I think, mm. to say that because I think they were wanting to give him a, a, a burial that would signify Yan Hui as uh, being of a higher class than he actually was. Uh, and so we have another instance in which, if I'm remember, remembering that case yeah. accurately, where you have people that are wanting to have more of like a... Uh, they want to have a, a more showy display i guess mm-hmm. than what is proper yeah, yeah for a person because of their affection for the person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so in both cases i think we're looking at a a case in which 
propriety is being directed by affection, mm -hmm. which it should actually be the other way around. Mm -hmm. Affection should be a thing tempered by propriety. Propriety. Yeah, so yeah. the way in which things should be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Confucius obviously is very sensitive to that. Mm. Which yes. is why both events are very important. It's very really important to, to get the real thing real. And that's, uh, yeah. Confucius obviously is a very loving and affectionate mm -hmm. person. Yeah. And he expresses that at the end of this mm -hmm. of this particular chapter. But he does not let his affection control his practice and adherence to what That's is right, right. Yeah. what is according to ritual mm -hmm. and that of, co of course becomes mm -hmm. a very mm -hmm. important example to his mm -hmm. disciples I mean he's, he's even on his deathbed where I guess we would want affection more than ever because we're kind of out of whack yeah. but even then he does not allow yeah does not allow that to, to waver in him at least. Yeah. So he even rebukes his mm -hmm. disciples from his death from his sickbed. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can, I want you to write this down. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. That make it to you guys because uh, yeah. So in Chinese for the Ming Shi, okay. Ming Ge Shi. Ming is is what is being recognized. What is being reputed among others. Shi means what you truly are. You know. I think about that's always a struggle for human beings in society. You know, who you really are, who you want to be. Uh, you have this rewards or order. Most of the people like American culture today, especially as normal in human society, they want to have a name, a name for themselves. Right? So, um, certain people, uh, people leadership even disgustingly, sorry that word want to be on the list. <laughs> I get upset with those things. We do not want to mimic and influence by those leaders. Absolutely not. <coughs> so, you know, that's a wicked mindset. Yeah. You want to be honest people, you know, so make decent mistakes, set up and recover from it, right? So, yeah. It's confession, repentance, what I mean. God's not afraid for us to make mistakes. It's a, it's, it's a, what is a, a real man? A real man is not the one who made mistakes. A real man is the one who makes a mistake, but the one who makes right about it. Am I? So, yeah, shi means a substance, or what is real, you know? What is, what is real? So, in life of the young people, especially, you should continue to struggle on those lines because. You want somebody to praise you, want to to receive, want to be spoken well of. That's okay to a certain extent, you know. So, but we must recognize flattery getting us false uh, reputation or bloody love relation is actually a, a destructive thing, right? So, yeah, some decent souls, pure hearts, because of talents, because of opportunity, because of richness. Because certain opportunity actually destroy their life, and right? so think about the living example. I always regret that a person that was led into the wrong lifestyle, eventually destructive, tormented all through in her career. That's Whitney Houston, you know. So what a what a wonderful voice, what a wonderful personality. But because of career, because of association and whatever happened. And she killed herself I mean, through drugs, you know? I'm not sure exactly the details. But her life was full of troubles, you know? So, 
she she literally feels sometimes by her own confession that her talents was a curse rather than a gift. Wow, you know, so it, is that terrible or not? You know, so, yeah. so that we to appreciate her talents, she was a worshiper. You know, so sing gospel song. You know, it's, she never sing bad songs, but however, the culture strong you know, was a terrible one. Can you imagine today? Today is that culture is more degraded, more weird, and uh, I don't know, you know, just, uh, than than the time she was brought up with. So, you know, so, yeah. and her talents will be terribly abused by the culture if she had mixed success in those circles. Uh, yeah, you know, the Hollywood culture, the culture of commerce, culture of uh, what call models, you know, something you know, dress nice. Everybody want to have a, uh, their face and uh, their, their 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 talk show, whatever you know, they had to make it. You know, so promote their movies, promote their things. That's okay enough for a certain extent, but it's all what uh, curated by people, a greedy and manipulative and uh, more than worthy, am I? So they don't have their own stuff. <laughs> they should have those things like a tower, am I? So, yeah. those, those people are fake personalities. I don't care how talented you are. You are not real you. <laughs> so, yeah. They may be blunt, raw, or sometimes outspoken, but the, still the whole culture is a fake culture, am I? So, yeah. And you can't make mistakes. Must you make a mistake, you are dumb. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's the word merciless and fake. What the word? Fake is the word. What is like make 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 do right? so, Now I have a huge appealing to people. Now we have social media today. I mean that culture driven is behind all those conversations. Instagram one, right? you look at this everything is a security. It's okay, you know, so I use it. I just want to have a record of my life because I don't know where to see the archive on the to do it. <laughs> but definitely not for public consumption. But what are you telling people make what? Make a production about it. And you know, so I I hope you guys just you know use those tools, okay. But to share real you, share real life. You know, so is that making sense to you? Show your bros and nose a little bit sometimes. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Be a real you. You know, um, you can leave two heritages when you pass away: the real you or the fake you. you know, so is that making sense to you? you know, history is written by false archives, false information, heresies. Few people understand. Those actually make a dent and need to appreciate. Oftentimes, they are nameless people, you know, so, yeah. and that's a perfect fine for our names are written where. Yeah, I don't want to preach, but I tell you, young people, um, in this kind of dialogue in classes, it's really the main reasons for you guys to find God's calling for your life, find the real you. And you know, you know, life is full of surprises. You sometimes stumble, but remember, don't let stubbornness to lead you astray. You know, to our believers from God. So, yeah. The world have a very little to offer to us. I can tell you the truth. Right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's we're dissatisfied. When you have it, that's when your trouble started. The real void and torment start because it doesn't satisfy you. Yeah. Wow, I got all my life into this. I got it. It's really not satisfying. I'm cheated. Somebody cheated me. You have no idea. You're being allow yourself to be cheated all along the way. Is that making sense to you? You get it. So what? Yes. Um, um, but God never disappointed us. He may discipline us, he may 
understand. No, no. Then <laughs> like Confucius, and he he recovered. He gave you the real value, decency. Yeah, be be a. I think a personal love is important in the right way. Nobody can love others without a personal love, personal experience. You must know how to love yourself in the godly way. He, then that means you must respect yourself, have dignity, be noble in your heart, in your intent. Do not be let debase people and debase interests, debase with crooked with the world to define who you are. You don't have to feel a lot with that. <laughs> yeah? Because when the thousand dollars is gambling game, but I'm not going to have <laughs> a seat by the table. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Quick success is the worst thing you can have as a young man. I tell you, you know, many other geniuses, and I grew up with many smart people better than me. But smartness often has a great trap for them to not know themselves mm-hmm. and build identity. Back. Build the future now. But that's a trap. <laughs> you're smart, so what? You're not a good person. <laughs> you're smart, you don't know where you're going. <laughs> that's a that's a fault, am I? Smart but don't know what you're doing. Smart don't know who you are. Don't, smart don't know what your future holds. <laughs> what kind of future you want. So that's not smart. That's a fool that that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you heard of the story of the English context? I'd love me to give you some life lessons. It's called the story of a hare and a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be a hare. What the word? Hare on a rabbit, is it? In a, get it lost. More than us getting slow with getting the final goal, you get lost on the way. Yeah. <laughs> but the <a> turtle, <laughs> every step he made, slow, Small in the days, you're moving towards the goal. Hallelujah. What is the goal in life, in this life? Godliness. Wisdom. True wisdom. Not fake wisdom. However, we all struggle. We all have a, a humanness in us. But God is able to help to change that. Amen. Hallelujah. You got doing great. You seem as able. Enjoy your conversation. That means a lot. More than for me, for yourself, for life in general, for God. And congratulations. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good one. You know, think about the guys die. Am I? Confucius die. In Chinese, it's called also sayings, very interesting sayings. You know, it's really struck a chord with me when I was a young man. Called Renzhi uh, Zhang Shi. A bird is going to die. He knows it's going to die. He's going to cry with the sand voices, you know, so, yeah, bleaking. But when a man is going to die, in every word, most likely will talk about the things that matter. There are foolish men out there, but any good man, a decent man, want to leave the best of the wives to his son, to his daughters, to whatever, to friends, right? The best, the best. All the troubles, unforgiveness, all the small stuff, you hold so much. He suddenly, oh, it really doesn't make a dent. Many times regret, you know, a whole grudge, a whole bitterness. Okay. Yeah, I mean, pay attention to the to love and my how to be good. Right? So, especially when somebody wants to listen to you, has something important on the time. So, it's not what he has mattered, it's your word mattered. Amen. She yeah, means someone discourse of wisdom, a life lesson. Amen. Yeah, young people learn to listen to old people, not because the old. Experience, it can be foolish, but I'm talking about <laughs> the experience enough to know what's important. You don't, you don't bubble around, bubble up all the time, you don't know what they're talking about. The more 
subtle, distilled. So word was to be winning, was good or bad, and with God's word. That being said, let's move on. Huh, this one, it's crazy. I was looking at this ahead of time, Kim, I said, hey, maybe she can come around, let's do this one. I'm ready. Yeah. So, okay. The next one is, uh, 子宫曰,幽美于一世,运魁而藏出求上古而古周之月,古自在,古自在,我在古之也。Terrible. <laughs> oh, the Chinese sounds worse strange to myself. <laughs> Good. Qigong said, If you possess a piece of beautiful jade, would you hide it away in a locked box, or would you try to sell it at a good price? The master responded, Oh, I would sell it. I would sell it. I'm just waiting for the right offer. <laughs> this is obviously using that to, to, to indicate something. Let me clear it before we do the commentary. What do you think indicated, Esther? Mm -hmm. uh, students. Actually, he's a merchant, a right? great rich man. Asking, hey, you got this beautiful jade. Are you going to hide in the box? Or are you want to sell it? So what do you think uh, Zagun really asking? Ask how to deal with this beautiful jade? Or something else? <laughs> you smart. <sparked> the thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'll sell it. Oh, I'll sell it. Would it be is it maybe like the wisdom that you have inside of you? Yes. 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 That's yeah. so true. Wonderful. Good job. This is his life. You know, his life is that beautiful jade. Would he hide away for no usage? You he has his own beauty, or if he wants to put it in usage. This is not about the money, obviously. It's about something put into practice, uh, put into usage. I was waiting for the right offer, you know, so he's waiting for some kind of ruler as a conscious all the life as a pursuit to have the right position so he can share and build a, a culture. So let's uh, Zugum, again, this uh, is um, one of the best disciples of Confucius was a worse, smart young man. He's much younger than Confucius. And, uh, and he was very good uh, uh, with the merchant, very smart merchant. Later on, he became the richest man in that line. So it's very It's also a smart diplomat. He was uh, very eager to help war to be simmered down many times see a nation from Greek war and helps the common people you know so from suffering so amazing personality so understand that time in China there's a lot of kingdoms divided and they fight each other you know, so, so the comments here, commentary here said is a gentleman should share his virtue with the world by taking public office. But only under a virtuous king and when approached in accordance with the way. The way. Confucius thus refused to add the patterns of wares on the market, waiting instead for the virtues recognized by a ritually correct and morally cultivated ruler. Those are coded words, ritually, right? That's in Chinese context. If somebody abide his proper position. In that, it's more like free the Lord, but above them there is a emperor or whatever. They call emperor, but it's really is a king, okay? It's a big kingdom, so they have different little kingdoms, you know? It's a feudalistic construct as in the Middle Ages of Europe, okay? So you have England has the king, right? They have this different king. King Arthur is a 
we'll teach her a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, as a fan Zi Yu, fan Zi Yu, that's uh, another disciple, I think, maybe, puts it, the gentleman is never unwilling to serve your office, but also despise any of us that is not in accordance with the way. The scholar waiting for the ritually proper approach is like a piece of jade waiting for the right price. May you. The other thing there is out there is a. Anyway, let, let me finish this commentary first. He's a certain not going to compromise away or to begin human rewards. Ah, speaking to some people today? Despicable. I mean, I, I'll get more and more of a set with the question today. Despicable. Sorry. I'm gonna, you're not going to have me more and more be peaceful with this Christianity anymore. Lost their we. Mm-hmm. Reminds me a little bit of what Kim shared the other night in uh-huh. prayer about how not all Christianity has really cheapened things. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's a loss of the value. Of there are no more Christians. Yeah. I mean, Christians stand for something. Today is a, it's a word for disrepute, eradicate. I don't want to be called Christian in this nation. Maybe in other nation. I'm, I believe I'm a Christian. However, <laughs> not in this nation. I believe mean, because they quickly you group with uh, some unsavory characters. Hallelujah. I want to be a disciple, however, hallelujah. Then nobody can rob me. <laughs> and become a, a son of God. Am I be a son of God? Mm-hmm. Do <coughs> never be a social animal. That's a terrible word. <laughs> First you're animal. <laughs> then you'll be changed. The second, social animal. <laughs> Maybe more refined more conform to a greater picture, but you have no idea that the social you're talking about is not God, right? It's the world. Amen? Hallelujah. We cannot be citizens of the world. The star is. Thank you. And look at the, the, the bruise. <laughs> Certain people think they can anywhere to suffer. What a shame. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You read the history of found generation under general Christianity full of such characters ready to claim God's name but have no respect for even the basic principle of what it means to be a follower of Christ. Shame on them. Hallelujah. We struggle, we sin, we for sure, for sure. But in our heart of heart we got to make to know, know that we want to be one, to not bring dispute and be honest with ourselves and we are what we really want to talk right? so, He's certainly not going to compromise the way in order to gain human rewards. All brag about his jade in pursuit of self. <laughs> He's not going there to brag about it. Hallelujah. There are two principles, like I talk, stories, maybe enhance a little bit from the Chinese history or Chinese tradition. All of the clear, frustrated Confucius seem somewhat less pessimistic here than in 99, when it was ahead of time, because before this re- reiteration. 99 said the message of Phoenix is not, has not appeared, the yellow river is not produced, it's a chart. It's all over for me, is it not? That's uh, Phoenix, Yellow River, Chart, those are legendary instances in China history speaking about a good time. A time for order, for peace, for goodness is going to flourish. So when they're not showing up, they said, hey, I don't see this in heaven, yet my time is coming up. So he's full of sadness, you know, so the will of Good cannot find its opportunity to practice. 
Is that not our Lord Jesus' heart weeping over Jerusalem? There's a lot of similarity at ten years. So, yeah. so, so whereas he gave up completely the hope of finding a proper buyer for his wares. Now, when the story and called is Liang Yao Zemu Er Chia. Now, Liang Yao is, is, a, is a wise bird, a good bird. So, 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 means wants to pick the right branch. Uh, the branch is more than branch, the branch is indeed a right kind of tree, okay? So, Er Chi, Chi, more than means a rest, but actually going to uh, maybe to make a nest. It's a rest. So you can see you found the birds of um, were wise center in order to keep the young to work careful with where they build their nests. Okay, so yeah. Then there are foolish birds <laughs> don't care, you know, so yeah. So Liang then there's a phoenix however, is choose the only one kind of tree called the Wu Tong Shu Wu Tong Shu I use Guru Wu Tong Shu. And uh, uh, to to rest upon it, so yeah, that's a lot of po poem when that story. We Chinese have a phoenix, um, more like the uh, actually more beautiful picture than the Egyptian phoenix. You know, so it has no legendary stories to know those things. But uh, anyway, the other one, one other one, we got another, huh? We got another. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, called the, a chance a little story called the Boyush Bo 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 This Bolo is a guy theme for knowing good horses. In Chinese they have this lessons about good horses, you know, different horse I think it's still true so they the breed the horse, right? For racing. It's very hard to come out. And I so that's why different people try to raise up the right horse, and I answer it's a tradition, you know, to breed a horse. <coughs> so this part, person really know how to recognize a good horse. So good horse is more than good horse. It's actually represent what? Represent a person have a talent, so capacities, or character. So is that making sense to you? You know, so, yeah. So what it means is that, you know, you, you you somebody you know called the, you bolo this time bolo this a guy knows who others are mm -hmm. that spot excellence in London so is that make sense here so yeah. so what it means here is that you know you 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 bolo shima so so what you have you know if you have yourself. Don't think about this guy, but think about you being a horse, stuck with uh, some common horses, but uh, you are a very excellent horse. And you are carrying a weight rather than being somebody riding you in the war, or whatever. So, am I? Hallelujah. So, just use a common horse. Am I? Not federal, not hero. You just appear to be a poor horse. And this come around, this guy come around saying, no, that's not the horse for this kind of task, which is treating right, and treating right. So he really him to be, turn out to be fulfilled the of the horse. So that's a picture there, is a man found his opportunity, you know, able to accomplish what his talent or so his capacity able to reach or should reach. Is that any consensive? You know, so so Confucius have said other place called Da Zhang Fu Xiang Shi Er Dong. Da Zhang Fu means a greedy man. A man is waiting for his time. He's not gonna just go anywhere. He's waiting for the right time, for the right opportunity. And then the opportunity in our setting as Christians to understand Hopefully he's not self-made, not self-invalid, or self-contemplated. It has to be given by who? By God. That's interesting. You know, people would think that's a fairy tale. I will tell you that's the truth. So that's the Bible, and that's real. Hallelujah. A man called, ascend by heaven. He will know his timing. 
and he will know beforehand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless you guys, okay? You're young, you have a lot of imagination, your future like. I will suggest to your future will not decide by your talent, by your passion, by your self inviting endeavor, rather by your connection with God. Mm-hmm. And confirm to God because God has one purpose to shape you if you call by Him. He can shape your character. Uh, hallelujah. You know, he shape your wisdom. You know. <coughs> hallelujah. Yeah? A, a man with character <laughs> can, okay, can command, the word is command wrong, can, can lead, if you will, proper lead all the people with many talents. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. A man of vision for the, let's see today's world even. I want to build a, a Amazon. <laughs> I want to build a store. Should I write every code? Arrange every community? No, I don't. <laughs> but once I build some foundation, I will have all what I need to get people to work with the vision, right? I don't have to tell them every day how to go to office, every code or right, do I? I want to tell them, hear what I want to accomplish. If you keep it going. Amen. Hallelujah. That was a kingly wisdom of God. Kingly wisdom of God is not what you can do, but what you can work with others to do. To enable Godly culture, Godly vision, and you align through God, not that through our appeal and charisma. Amen. Amen. A unity from the Spirit, right? Yes. To a unity of a common ground in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's a happy night list. That's a happy night to your heart. Okay. Recently, I heard many of the deeper discussion with Tigo, the young people I heard, is we're going to build a culture. And we're going to be expressing the culture. I don't want to be shy about it. I think you should be very loud about it. In your own heart, with your friend, <laughs> with our own people, right? We're so, yeah. not trying to impress us, but we need to be free to talk one another. This is what we're doing. Amen. So that two pictures give you a good idea. If you are a wise bird, hallelujah, you have the choice. It's up to you. You need to choose the right shape to perch and to build your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you again and again and again. I don't want to jump out of anyone's opportunity. And that's in my life, it's true. I walk away from many opportunities. It's not to brag, let's say. I go through God, God said no. <laughs> go through my own soul, my soul said no. <laughs> Good opportunity, but it's not my life. I choose my lot very carefully. Thank you, Jesus. The second one is maybe in a place of disadvantage. Hallelujah. But if you build yourself with character, with something, and then with that shema, maybe you don't have a reputation. Hallelujah. Put your root down. Fill your house with good things, your own house. In your own management, what you can do. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. Then, but God knows it's His choice for you. Hallelujah. Apply in many ways to your life, young people. I think every major choice we sh- make should not just jump ahead without God. We need to go through a series of protocols with God, you know, so, amen, especially you have gifted people, loving people, and ready people to support you to go through that process. I'm not saying you have to, I'm saying to do something that means you know it's God's will, man, that's a huge difference. You will never, never regret if something didn't work it out. <laughs> Not all things are going to work it out. Mm-hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. Especially when you feel that thing falling apart, you are saying, I did not do it for myself. I did not do it by myself. I did not do it with myself. I did because God 
was a Litzmeh. Gal said that she should. And you for falling apart. Well, I can, I'm, I can sure he's still going to help me. In the modern side of the situation, it, it's only assistance, only a build up to the things that are actually matters. Hallelujah. I was just picturing that. A man running a raft. They build a raft. In the beginning, he's just holding one step by the wood. <laughs> Try to drift in the rapids. Hallelujah. And God said, Well, you can you can drift with one. <laughs> That's why. How about you don't have to be on the water, you know? <laughs> so build a raft. So God helped me build a raft. And uh, I said, Most of the people never have a raft. And uh, they all. On the drift wood. And then 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 I look at like, wow and he feel good, you know, I build a raft, man. So the next corner, the rapid getting more harsh <laughs> and and uh, rocky, whatever the reason, he raft falling apart. He barely saved. <laughs> and he he has two reflection on that one. God waiting for the response. Are you going to go back to the drift of your life? Or are you going to build another raft? Or oh, something else? At least you can build a raft again, right? <laughs> so you see, man, I don't think about that. You know, oh, why am I raft to fall in part? God, you build a raft, not supposed to last forever? <laughs> you don't see. Wow, you can build another raft, how's the can't? <laughs> but God said, how about to build a boat? If you really ask me, I will teach you to build an ark. <gasps> can you even have it happen? May, the, may God give you life, a wisdom to know Him that He always is ready to give you the ark. It may frustrate your comfort. <laughs> Yourself, come back to the attitude of, oh, I got the raft better than anyone else. <laughs> so I'm talking. So <laughs> don't ever have an unthankful and unappreciated attitude with God. And don't have a sore attitude towards anybody, especially yourself. That's a waste of a life. Uh, learn to be thankful, learn to be resourceful in terms not by yourself. But with God, you know, so God is always up to something we don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And He's beyond us. He's, 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 he's willable. He's, he's greater than us. He's bigger than us. My ways are higher than your ways. Hallelujah. Do not be a small thinking man. And, and small thinking doesn't matter. Most of the shady people actually were small people, turn out to be. I mean, they have everything, but they can't accommodate, they can't prosper with people, they can't share prosperity. They can't give respect and the room for others to thrive in their, in their, in their, in their sphere of existence. Those are mean people, small people. I, mean, I don't care what you say. You're not a good man. Amen, hallelujah. We should not do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the end, Benji, why don't you pray for us? Yes, Lord, we want to to be those people, Lord, who are mindful, Lord, of the way that you impart, Lord, your wisdom. To be those, Lord, who who take, Lord, the things that are holy for holy. Lord, and apply your righteous standard, Lord, to the way that we live. Father, continue to open our eyes and hearts, Lord, to understand, Lord, that your work is beyond us, Father. 
that your will extends, Lord, to all your people. Mm -hmm. I pray that we would operate, Lord, in that wisdom, mm -hmm. that we would see, Lord, with that vision mm -hmm. and think along those lines, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, as we even learn at times like these, may your spirit continue to, to work in our minds mm -hmm. and continue to prepare us, Lord, for the things that will come for the battles at hand, Lord, mm. and also for the passing on, Lord, of that wisdom, mm. for, Lord, the ones that you have already, Lord, secured in our lives for us to pass it on to. Mm. May we indeed, Lord, wait on you and be patient, Lord, in that. Father, we, we bless you and do want to thank you, Lord, each opportunity that we get mm. for, Lord, the fundamental works, Lord, that you are doing. Lord, the uprooting and the establishment of yourself in each life. Father, we love you mm. and want to, to please you, Lord. Mm. with our lives. Mm. May this this time, Lord, um, be life to each one here. Mm. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Well, so, so the king is here. We're going to offer a prayer for us. We are uh, still going to come. praise you and I thank you for, for the way that you give us our daily bread when we come to you and we ask for it. And, and Lord, that bread of life, it's secure. And so Lord, every single place that we step in in that heart you fill us completely mm. and it's not necessarily what we think mm. Lord because you love us and you have so much mercy for us mm. and wanting us to, to get rid of the things that chain us down mm. and so Lord we, we even come to you truly mm. with hearts of gratitude mm. Lord for one your spirit that guides and comforts and gives peace but Lord also for our our weak humanness you have given us others Lord to to help us see blind spots and to encourage and build each other. Mm. Lord, we want we want to build an ark. <laughs> mm. And so God, we, we praise your living word. Mm. Even when it doesn't quite line up. Mm. Because we know you're good. Mm. And we know you're faithful. Mm. And we know that you are the living light mm. to our feet mm. right here. So God, I honor literally every single person in this room. We give honor to Emmanuel and for his teaching. Mm -hmm. God, we see that for the gift, literal, like manna from heaven mm -hmm. that you give us through him. Mm -hmm. May we truly meditate, Lord, on your words that bring life. May we be faithful disciples of everything that you give us. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Vinny. Yes. Thank you, Vinny.